Today, we will be watching a series of a different level. Have you all heard about the Breaking Bad series? We have seen it quite a while ago. The character of Walter White from Breaking Bad has influenced the main role in this series. In another season, it's not just a story. These are real events. Are you asking who is that big shot? That is Pablo Escobar. He is the real drug lord of this world. He is the real king. He had a lot of money in those days. If he was still running a business, Pablo Escobar would have been a rich man. He would have begged to Elon Musk. Because Pablo Escobar was a rich man. Pablo Escobar was an ordinary man. How did he become the king of the world of drugs? Did the police catch him? That is the whole story of this series. Before going into the story, today, we are going to watch the first episode of Narcos, which was released in 2015. It is an amazing series. We are going to watch the first episode of Narcos. Shall we start? The story starts with a voiceover. In today's world, if we want to catch someone, we can easily track them. We can use their phones, GPS, and CCTV cameras. We can easily catch them. But in the 1980s, there was no such technology. The only wireless network at that time was satellite phones. But ordinary people couldn't use it. Only those who had a lot of money had satellite phones. Who had a lot of money? Politicians, big businessmen, and there was another group. They were narcos. They sold drugs and earned a lot of money. To catch narcos, the Colombian police were doing their job. The voiceover ends here. The main motive of the Colombian police was to catch drug dealers. The only way to track them was through satellite phones. But one day, hundreds of satellite phones started communicating with each other. The Colombian police started asking questions to them. The Colombian police knew that if a person with a voice spoke on a satellite phone, they would be able to track him. When they were tracing calls, they identified a voice. It was a person named Poison. He was a very important person. He was talking to a person named Lazard on the phone. He said that there was a party at a karaoke bar. The Colombian police knew where Poison was. The Colombian police told an officer named Steve Murphy. He was a DA. He was a drug trafficking officer. He knew about this and couldn't go. He was an American and he was in Colombia. He couldn't take any action. So Steve went to a local police officer. He was a very good police officer. The local police officer went to the bar and to get rid of Poison. At this time, Poison and his men are known as the Big Killers. They are known as the Shakariyas. They all come to the club called Karok and Party. Then the police start beating everyone up. That's when Poison and his men got rid of Poison. This all happened in 1989. After this, this story goes to the past. This is where the title of the series is given. At that time, the president of America was Nixon. As soon as he became president, the military general, Pinochet, got a lot of power. Pinochet was a very bad guy. If he saw a communist, he would kill him. Pinochet was the head of a country called Chile. Everyone in the village said that he was a bad guy. At that time, in Chile, cocaine which was one of the worst drugs in the world, began to be produced. Pinochet, who was the head of Chile, sent the military to all the places where drugs were produced in Chile and destroyed everything. He didn't arrest them and bring them to court. He would make them stand in line and kill everyone. As a result, dozens of factories were closed in Chile. Hundreds of people who work there also died. There was a factory that produced drugs in a desert. The military force went there and arrested everyone, made them stand in line, and shot them. Everyone died. Only one person was left alive among the dead. Actually, no one hidden. He lay dead and hid. After everyone left, he slowly woke up. He was called a cockroach. The cockroach escaped and went to his house. The cockroach was not an ordinary person. He brought drugs from the factory and sold them. Now the cockroach has a lot of drugs, but Pinochet's military army is looking for everyone who has drugs. If we sell drugs here, we will definitely die. 
The cockroach plans to go to another country, but it is impossible to smuggle drugs. That's why the cockroach is going to Colombia. There were a lot of smugglers in Colombia at that time, but the cockroach needs the best of the best among the third place is the Okaya brothers. They have smuggled a lot of drugs, but now they are rich. If they smuggle drugs, the government will find them easily. So the cockroach doesn't want them. The second place is Jose the Mexican. He is also a good smuggler, but the problem is he has smuggled his partner and taken over everything. So the cockroach doesn't trust him. So the first place is Pablo Escobar. At that time, Pablo was smuggling cigarettes and other drugs to Colombia. One day, when he was smuggling a lot of drugs, the police stopped him and asked him to show what was inside the truck. But Pablo opened the truck and saw a lot of drugs inside. The police asked him if he was smuggling drugs, but Pablo didn't react and told the names of all the police officers. They were shocked. They asked him if he had a son and asked him if he needed money for his mom's hospital expenses. He told them that if they let him do his job, it will be good for them. He also told them that he knew all the people in Colombia. He also told them that he would become the president of Colombia one day. Pablo asked them if they wanted the money or the bullets. After a month, the police officers let him go. It was not a joke. It really happened. Pablo was a great man. Pablo went to a club where he met a cockroach. The only person was his cousin Gustavo. The cockroach told Pablo that he had drugs and that he would smuggle them and sell them in Colombia for $10 per gram. But Pablo was not impressed. He asked Pablo to sell them in Miami for $10 per gram. He thought that his target should always be above $10 per gram. So Pablo started his work in Miami. Steve Murphy, the drug smuggler, was a small boy. He and his friend caught a drug dealer who had a packet of weed. They were very happy to get a promotion. They went to the club to celebrate. Steve's friends wanted to prank him. The girl didn't want to see him, but Steve's friends wanted to prank him. Steve went to the girl and asked her to leave. Steve was sad. His friends laughed at him. They thought that Steve would die. So he went to the girl and told her that he was a day agent. His friends told him that it was a prank. So he asked her to write a number on a paper. She wrote a number. Steve took the number and showed it to his friends. His friends were shocked. He went to Steve's house and wrote a number. He called her. It was the same girl. She wrote her real number. He told her that he would find out that she was a day agent. Steve fell in love with her and got married to her. Pablo went to Peru with a cockroach. There was a lab there. They were making drugs there. They were planning to smuggle the drugs there. But the cockroach couldn't smuggle the drugs for the first time. So he asked them one kilogram of drugs. But the cockroach even one kilogram of drugs. So they decided to buy a car. The car had a gap above the tires. They could smuggle up to five kilogram of drugs. Pablo asked them to go to the lab. Why? To buy 60 kilogram of drugs. 60 kilogram? Yes, 20 kilogram for a car. Me, my cousin, and you. Three people, three cars for three people. Pablo smuggled 60 kilogram of drugs. Their profit was five late dollars. They came back to Colombia. There were many problems when smuggling drugs, but Pablo gave money to everyone there. So no one stopped Pablo. Everyone was getting bribed. So he smuggled drugs easily. With the money, Pablo bought a house in Colombia. He opened a new lab there. They called it a kitchen. The drugs they bought from Peru were called paste. They processed it and turned it into cocaine. Here in Colombia, they do the same thing for Pablo. Pablo and his cousin distribute the paste. Pablo has a wife and a mother. The mother makes a coat at home. There are many packets inside. He smuggles drugs to a man named Lion. He is the one who smuggles drugs to Miami. Since the demand is low, he smuggles drugs to Carlos in Miami. Again, Lion does the same thing. Everything is going well. People who smuggle drugs in cars are now smuggling drugs in lorries. If a car tire weighs 5 kilogram, 
A lorry tire weighs 20 kg, just like importing they are importing drugs. Pablo is getting a lot of money. The demand is increasing. Lion can't carry all the drugs through his packet. He needs help. He brings people who are struggling and gives them money. But instead, he has to swallow all the drugs. It's like a tablet. He has to swallow all the drugs. The more he swallows, the more money he gets. Even if someone dies, he has to swallow all the drugs. Many people agree to this and start smuggling drugs to Miami. Pregnant women also start smuggling drugs. They charge the pilot who flies the airplane. The pilot doesn't care. As the days go by, the demand in Miami increases. They smuggle from Colombia. It's like a private plane. They smuggle 1,300 kilogram of drugs in one trip. Pablo used to work in a lab called the kitchen, but now the demand is increasing. He opens a lab in the forest. All the drugs, he can't leave the forest. He is very angry. Pablo comes there and gives the drugs, but he is very angry. He says that he will die in the forest. He says that he will die in the forest. He says that he will give the drugs. Pablo is also angry, but he doesn't show it. Pablo's drug business is going to another level. Other smugglers also try to do the same. But if everyone buys from Peru, the price of the drugs will increase. So they start from Bolivia. Like Pablo, anyone can buy the drugs from anywhere, but only Pablo can deliver the drugs to America. Pablo says that he wants 30 commission. If he fails, he will give 50 commission. Other smugglers like this. But the cockroach is very angry. He says that this is our business, but Pablo doesn't care. Drugs are spreading like fire in America. In America, there is a drug smuggler, Steve. In the beginning, he used to party for a packet of weed. But now, he has smuggled six kilos of drugs. But no one is happy. This is a distraction. They smuggled 600 kilos of drugs. Many crimes are happening in America because of the drugs. Everyone is addicted when a smuggler smuggles drugs. Steve kills the smuggler. The smuggler dies. The smuggler comes home and tells his wife about his wife is a nurse. She says that a pregnant lady was smuggled. She swallowed the drugs like a tablet. But the drugs leaked and she died. She tried to save the baby, but the baby died. Because of drugs, problems are increasing. Pablo's cockroach is a smuggler. When he was working in Chile, he smuggled drugs without the knowledge of the smuggler. Now, he smuggles drugs without Pablo's knowledge. He sells drugs without Pablo's knowledge. He tells Pablo's cousin that he needs more money because of his idea. He asks Pablo's cousin for money, but Pablo doesn't want to talk to him. He tells him that he won't be alive if he talks to him. He doesn't know what to do. He goes straight to the police and tells them that they are smuggling drugs under the wheels of a truck and that they are smuggling drugs under the wheels of a truck so the police catch Pablo's drugs. Pablo doesn't know about this. And he is very upset everyone is getting bribed from us so why should we catch the drugs? Because he needs more money. He tells his cousin Gustavo to go and talk to Pablo. And then Pablo goes to meet the police officer. He needs more money. But Pablo is scolding him, so they arrest Pablo and take pictures. Pablo is laughing his head off and says, Look, Pablo, I just need to sign this, and that's it. The case will be registered. Give me more money, even if you don't have money. Will the money, will the money, will the money, will the money, will the money. I asked him to give me a million dollars. That's enough. So Pablo said, I don't care about money. You guys don't know that I keep drugs on my tires. But you came to the right place and checked. That means one of my men has given you information. Just tell me who he is. After that, you shouldn't touch my car after taking the money. The police also said, if I take the money, I won't touch your car anymore. Also, the one who gave me the information is the cockroach with you. Pablo is very angry with the cockroach. Right now, our officer Steve and his partner in Miami have come in disguise as drug dealers. So, to sell drugs to them, without knowing that they are police, some people come in a car with 1,000 kilos of drugs. This drug belongs to Pablo. But that cockroach 
Pablo doesn't know about it. He sold it without knowing it. That drug is all this. So, the people who came to sell it are the people of the cockroach. So Pablo came to know that the cockroach is selling our drugs. Pablo would have sent people to kill those people. So they come there and kill the people of the cockroach. So, the police immediately shoot Steve and his partner. Our Pablo's people kill Steve's partner. So the angry Steve kills one of Pablo's people. He catches the other one alive. When he went to court to get punished for killing his partner, he said, if you give $2 million, you will get a bail. That evening, he paid $2 million and came out on bail. That's how much money Pablo has. $2 million is nothing. So there are a lot of drugs in America. The main reason for that is the drugs coming from Colombia. If there are 10 kilos of drugs, only 8 kilos come from Colombia. When they check the satellite phone, they get the location of a person named Poison. They tell this information to Steve. But Steve has just come to Colombia. He doesn't have that much power, so he doesn't tell this to the local police. The local police also come there and kill Poison and his people. We saw this at the beginning of this episode. Poison and his people have died in the shootout. Steve comes to that place. He takes a photo of all the dead Poison. One of Pablo's people is watching all this from there. The people of Cockroach have died and Miami Cockroach comes to know about this. He begs Pablo to forgive him. But Pablo doesn't forgive him. He kills Cockroach and kills all his people. Pablo gets an information. An officer from America has come. His name is Steve. The shootout happened because of him. Poison and a lot of people died. Pablo gets angry. Pablo tells everyone that he will give five lake dollars to the person who kills Steve. If we do what Pablo says, he will definitely give us money. The murderers in the city want to kill Steve. Episode 1 ends here. We will see what happens in the next episode. See you in another episode tomorrow.